On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, we review Backbone Straight Wheat Whiskey. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host Lance. Today we have another store pick review for the Rusty Water Society. This is A1 Liquors pick of uh, Backbone Straight Wheat Whiskey. This is aged for 58 months. That's basically five years old. Uh, single barrel and comes in at 117 proof. Now, if you did not get in on this pick, make sure you get to A1 Liquors. Uh, I was just there and they still had plenty of these left and you don't wanna miss out on this pick. For those of you new to the Whiskey Tornado, let me quickly explain our scoring system. We have seven categories. We rate each category zero to one, 0.5 being average. We have two categories that are handicapped. That's appearance and availability. Those are handicapped just because they're not as important as what's in the bottle, but they are still important. At the end, we add all those up. Any score of three or better is bar worthy. Any score of four or better is bunker sum, just in case the distillery no longer provides a bourbon that you really love. All right, with all that being said, let's get into the parents of A1 Liquors Backbone Straight Wheat Whiskey Store Pick. All right, so some of you might be surprised. I actually like the appearance on this bottle. It's very simple, very clean, but I like the way it's kind of got that old timey feel to it. I like the shape of the bottle. Uh, I don't mind that there's nothing super complex on the, on the labeling. It's still clean, I love it. And then of course it's got store picks. This bottle on its own, I would probably give a 0.6 on appearance, but it does have the store pick label on the back. So we're gonna bump it to a 0.7. All right, moving on to availability. It's, it's not that available unless you're in central Illinois and you wanna get to Effingham and buy this. Um, I actually, I did not know this. Um, it looks like I grabbed bottle one of 203. So very, very limited. Uh, we're gonna put a 0.1 on availability. This review again is basically for those of us that visit A1 Liquors and snatch up all their store picks. All right, let's move on to what's important. Let's move on to the nose here, guys. The nose is so nice. For five years, uh, I would think right off just smelling it that it's a little bit older than that. It's, um, a little dusty like smells a little dusty to me but it's like very vanilla forward on the nose almost like uh it reminds me of the um the taffies the, the fair taffies those vanilla the white ones the vanilla fair taffies smell that think of those vanilla fair taffies and and that's what i get on the nose here caramel as well I'm searching for, uh, I, I, I've explained this a lot, but basically what I go through when I nose and taste is I look for sweetness first, and then I try to find some fruits and then spices and then anything else like, you know, leather, tobacco, those kind of things. And uh, for the sweetness, I definitely just get that like vanilla taffy. For uh, fruits, I have to go searching, but I feel like there's almost uh, almost a cherry and even like a, a pear or maybe apple for the fruits. I mean, I could convince my brain of, of any of those three fruits if I thought about them. And uh, spices, you know guys, the, the only spices I really smell or taste, baking spices is such a generalized term. 
Um, I try to narrow it down to, to, to what I can actually, a specific spice. The only specific spice I ever really taste or smell, at least for me, is cinnamon. And there is some cinnamon on here. Yeah, so if you had like a vanilla fair taffy sprinkled with cinnamon, that's what I get on the nose. The nose is nice, not super complex, but what's there I love. I love the sweetness, I love that vanilla taffy, and I love that I'm getting a little bit of fruit on there. Uh, we're gonna give the score on the nose a 0.6. All right, moving on to the taste. Cheers everybody in the Rusty Water Society. Taste is good, the palate's really nice. I love uh, the mouth feel to it. It's pretty heavy, it's got a good amount of weight. Again, I get that vanilla taffy right away. Definitely some caramel. And then that caramel actually transitions to like a maple syrup. Um, and you know, they've got a picture of, of them pouring this bottle over pancakes on the back and I mean, that's dead on. I get vanilla and maple syrup. Let me take another taste here. Lots of barrel spice, uh, tons of pepper on the palate as it's going down. Really nice. Very much like uh, like liquid vanilla maple candy. <laughs> so I'm gonna change the nose from that like uh, vanilla taffy sprinkled with uh, cinnamon. The palate is actually that like vanilla taffy with syrup drizzled over it. I'm gonna give the palate a 0.7. All right, moving on to the finish. The finish is all like barrel spice, pepper, good hug, but yeah, I mean the finish goes. The finish is really long on this, especially if you take a good sip of it. Um, so on the front end, I get that instant like sweet uh, vanilla taffy with maple syrup, and then it starts transitioning to barrel spice, pepper, maybe even some cinnamon again and it just goes, finish is really long on this. I'm gonna give the finish a 0.8. All right, moving on to value, we have basically a five year MGP single barrel at, at Barrel Proof. So you can figure about $10 per year, so it's right in that range. Uh, I love the sweetness that this is bringing. I love the barrel spice. The barrel spice might be a little too much for people who are newer uh, to bourbon. So uh, here in a second, I'm gonna try to cut that and add some water and proof it down. That's the great thing about barrel proofs. If it's a little too hot for you, a little too spicy, if it's fighting you and punching you and that's a little too hard, uh, you can just add water. So I'm gonna add water to this. We're gonna see where it goes. But the value is really in line. So I think it's better than average. We're gonna give the value a 0.6. All right, moving on to the body. It's heavy, it's oily, it's viscous. It's got a really good mouth feel to it. Sticks to all the sides of your mouth. We're gonna give the body a 0.7. All right, before we wrap up here, let's add a little bit of water for those of you that are newer to bourbon that might need to cut this down because 100 and, what I say it was, 117 proof or so? Uh, yeah, 117 proof. That could be a little spicy for some of you, but that's, that's the great thing about barrel proofs. You have somebody over um, and they love barrel proof bourbons, you can just pour this neat for them. If you aren't super used to that high proof, you can pour it over ice or cut it down. So let's see how it holds up to water. I would normally say let this sit for a while, but let's see what we got. The, the nose is pretty much the same on it. I might be getting a little bit more oak. Sometimes when I add water, I start to pick up a little bit more of those oak tannins. Water brings down the sweetness. Actually, the oak starts to pop out a little bit more. I get a lot, a little less complexity. I didn't put too much water in there, but the complexity definitely goes down, but the barrel spice also goes down. So if you want this a little sweeter, you wanna cut it with water, just know that the oak tannins, you're gonna taste a little bit more oak. It is gonna get sweeter. It's not gonna fight you as much. The complexity isn't gonna be quite as much as there, but um, but I think this is fantastic, neat, really good. It brings our overall score for A1 Liquor store pick of uh, Backbone Straight Wheat Whiskey to a 3.7, making it bar worthy. If you guys see this at A1 Liquors, last time I was there, they still had a lot on the shelf. Buy this, you won't be sorry. Really good expression. Uh, I love it. Naravin and his team always do a good 
job with these store picks. You can't go wrong. Uh, and if you're still worried about this one, ask her off. He'll let you taste it at the store. All right, guys. Until next time. Cheers.